Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Timmy O'Toole. You're gonna get some rest, aren't you, Timmy? Today we are cooking some tiny, tiny little itty bitty little foods. Look at these little settings. Look at this rolling pin. I saw this tiny little food set online and I just could not resist. Today we are making a little mini pizza party. Pizza, dessert, salad, but very, very small. Never done this before, but I think we can do it. I think we just have to believe. I'm not sure if this knife is even sharp, but you know what? We're using it. It's good enough. A little flour on the surface, a little flour on the rolling pin, and we are cooking some dough. It's a pizza pie, it's a pizza pie. Now I have to test, okay, my pizza pie is too small. I'm gonna have to use a bigger piece. It's deep dish pizza, that means we need lots of crust. And this is an exciting time for me because I've actually never had deep dish pizza. I figure like, you know, Kartha Gewert, she's an okay chef, but I'm not just going around making pizzas. So let's hope that the smaller the food is, the smaller the task is. I don't know whose idea this miniature cooking was, but I've seen it a lot on TikTok and for some reason, I just love watching these mini foods come to life made with the same ingredients as their bigger counterparts. This is going to be a welcome home gift for Timmy O'Toole. And because the portion is so small, I highly doubt that it'll be bad for him. Like usually Timmy O'Toole doesn't eat human food, but he was in the vet for four straight days. So we're gonna have to give him a little present. This dough is getting so thin, it's starting to like curl on the sides. I feel like if I can get this mini pizza cooked, it'll give me the confidence to cook a big pizza. I'm excited. Here we have our finished dough. You're gonna be a pizza! Now we're gonna get the shape of the pizza with this here pizza pan. You know what I mean? I'm going to use my wee knife here and I'm gonna trace around to get a perfect circle. Snow White style, you know what I mean? Is that a Snow White thing? Trace the circle? No, well I mean she got the birds to like help. You know, tiny feet, tiny knife. <laughs> Okay, listen, <laughs> just let me cook my tiny food in peace. Do you think that if you have tiny food, you have tinier problems? You ever think about that? No. Okay. I'd like to draw your attention here to these tiny little bowls. These are just the cutest little things. I have another one right here, but it's full of olive oil. So I'm gonna take ooh, the olive oil and grease the pan because we don't want it to stick. Now, like I said, this is deep dish. So we're putting the old pizza in here so that the filling will have a nice place to sit. Okay, this is a big bag of cornmeal for such a little spoon. <laughs> Grab some cornmeal and put it on the bottom of the pan. You know how you like, when you're touching pizza, these little crumbs come off? That's the cornmeal. Gives it that ooey gooey rich and chewy. Cute little circle in there. Press it down. It's not sticking, which is a good sign. I'll be able to get it out of the pan later. Imagine if I couldn't. Disaster. Cute, she's gonna be a pizza. Look how small it is compared to my hands. Now I have to push from the middle of the pan outwards to form somewhat of a crust. It's not doing too much, but it's okay. Gorgeous. Here I have a tiny little bowl of pizza sauce. Time to put it on the pizza. My nails are too long for this. I've seen like pizza makers make pizza before and they always kind of like go easy on the sauce. I don't support that. In the name of doing it correctly, I'm not gonna overload it with sauce. This is gonna be a cute little pizza. Made like a life scale pizza, but with little food. P-I-Z-Z-A. Okay, so I've decided I'm making a margarita pizza. I'm making like little circles of cheese to go in it that are like proportional to what you'd get in a pizza margarita real. Although I don't know if margarita pizza and deep dish could like could be synonymous with each other, but actually they definitely couldn't, but what can you do? That's a cute little pizza, don't you think? This is like doing surgery. This is the hardest I've ever worked. I just really want this pizza to be perfect. Okay, now of course we need basil. One leaf of basil is like as big as this pizza. So once again, I need to cut tiny leaves. Unless I can use these little babies on the bottom. Oh dude, these might be perfect. <gasps> these are perfect. That looked like a margarita pizza to you. It's pretty perfect. It is Timmy's favorite. Actually, it's my favorite, but working on it. Yeah. Oven mitts. Off to the oven we go. 
open the hatch. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> okay, I'm just wiping my knife with my tiny napkin. This is enough dough to like kill the little mice that are gonna eat this, but essentially, what we're hoping to do here is make a strawberry shortcake, except we're making a slice of cake as opposed to an entire cake. Don't wanna eat way too much. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just afraid that like with this dough, if I try to cut it into the perfect cake slice, it might crumble. So I'm trying to like bake them in the shape that I want them to be so that I can stack them. Jam in the middle, dollop of cream and strawberry. So it like actually looks like a piece of like shortcake, like with shortbread, because that's kind of like what this is. I just don't know how well shortbread cuts. Tiny butter in a tiny bowl, which I'm going to use to grease the pan. I always do this with my fingers in the big world. If it's good enough for the big world, it's good enough for tiny world. Okay, we got our greased baking sheet. We've got our little babies, our cake pieces. I'll be so happy if it works. Oven mitts on. You know what goes good with the uh, pizza? Uh, a Coke? Nah, a salad. Making a little bitty bitty salad. Just like stirring the dressing in. I'm not a big fan of a ton of dressing, so I'm just gonna have like just a little coat of it. Tomatoes, little tiny microscopic tomatoes, some cheese. Some butternut squash. Salad's done. Little dressing on the side if you want some. I'm gonna do surgery on a strawberry. I picked like this big mutated one because I feel like I can like cut a strawberry out of this like little mound and make it look kind of real. It's a big one, so we'll have some room to practice. Oh, strawberries are juicier than I thought. I don't know if that looks like a strawberry. <laughs> They're pretty big, but like, I feel like if I go any smaller, they're not gonna look like strawberries anymore. <laughs> the pizza and the salad are done. They look gorgeous. I'm actually obsessed with them. Now I'm going to try to make this shortcake. Here we have some jam with strawberries in it. Oh my goodness. It's like a little bit runny. Oh geez. It's so hard to breathe while you're doing this. I've decided I want a whipped cream layer in the center. Ugh. Pan for scale. It's a family style dinner. It's time for the tiniest pizza cutter in the history of pizza. Cartha Gewert loves using a pizza cutter to cut her pizza. Ah, uh, uh huh. That's a margarita pizza. Time to give some to Timmy O'Toole. A little rough to cut the crust, but we sure love a crunchy crust. Here, Timmy, one pizza pie. He inhales more than he eats, huh? Did you like it? You want some more? Oh, he's got his eye on the rest of this pizza. Look at this. He loves it. I don't think he's ever loved a treat more. Have some salad. Oh, oh, oh my god. Did he breathe that salad in? The salad's just gone. Should we give him the cake? I don't want to give him diarrhea. The okay, cake's got, really got his eye. It's the happiest he's been. I'll eat the bottom that's burnt and he can eat the top. Oh, ooh, you missed out. Ho oh, oh. That is really delicious. I think he thinks it's his birthday. Classic Timmy. Welcome home. I hope you're enjoying your stay home. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you enjoyed this tiny food thing, then let me know because I got supplies. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye, Timmy. You're spoiled. He's still looking at the pizza. <laughs> they only want one thing. <laughs>